Think about this, man. <clears throat> the last time the Niners won a Super Bowl, 94, 95. And if you're under 40, you probably don't remember it. Yeah. I'm 41. I remember it. But we Boy, didn't get to I, fully enjoy it. I was a kid. I was looking like Kyle Shedahead with braces at the Super Bowl. We're basically Kyle Shedahead. So how excited are those fans? Like you've never seen the 49ers win a Super Bowl. How important is this one for you? You've been waiting and waiting. You saw the Giants go down Market Street with three parades in 2010, 2012, 2014. You see the Warriors have a parade, a few parades in Oakland. 2016 was probably the funnest parade I've ever had. The last uh, couple seasons ago when they were down Market Street was pretty fun too. But the Warriors have had their parades for it all. Giants have had three. And we've been waiting for the Niners, waiting for the Niners to win that championship. How big is this game for you if you're under 40 years old? Because you probably don't remember the last time the Niners won a Super Bowl. And you mentioned it last week, all the heartbreaks that the Niners have gone through. And we're kind of going back and forth about Detroit filling in or the Niners fans filling in. But Niners fans have been waiting and waiting and waiting to see their team hoist a Lombardi trophy. And in the way is Patrick Holmes. In the way are the Kansas City Chiefs. We know that's going to be a tough deal, something we really pill uh, next week on the morning roast when the Super Bowl is starting to pop off and the Niners travel to Vegas Sunday night. But how big is this How big is this one for you? Like, you, you got to be feeling it. You got to be super excited saying, we've got another opportunity with players that we love. Think about all the lovable players that they have. Purdy, Kittle, Trent Williams, Debo, Christian McCaffrey, Nick Bosa, Frank Warner. You know, the Niners, the last time they went to the Super Bowl, or excuse me, when they went to the Super Bowl with Jim Harbaugh, they had some players that, like Chris Culliver, really shot himself in the foot with some of the comments that he made during the Super no, Bowl. ruined the Super Randy Bowl. Randy Boss. Saying he was better than Jerry Rice right, Randy in a Boss. Niner uniform. Yeah, exactly. It was just a lot of things going on with that team. And they had a lot of guys that we just kind of like, oh, yes, we want to win the Super Bowl, but their character wasn't on full display. Well, they had some low-character guys. If you remember that year, Ahmed Brooks got in trouble for smashing a beer bottle over somebody's head. Yep. He tried to take the keys from him. Mm -hmm. Alden was at the beginning of all of his troubles, uh, even though they would really reach ahead the following right. year. Um, yeah, there was a lot, B. There was a lot that year that went into it. And, uh, you know, there was the whole debate between Kaepernick and Alex Smith. And I think right. a lot of the fans, you know, looking back on it, I remember the divide. Yep. I remember people were like, Alex should be starting in yep. it. Alex is getting interviewed right. by people at the right. Super Bowl as Kaepernick takes them to heights that Alex couldn't do. You know, uh, I mean, there was a lot that was baked into that. And then obviously Harbaugh versus Harbaugh kind of hijacked a portion of the Niners getting back there. And it hurt to lose that game. That but, really but but you know what, though? I swear to God, Shasky. I've watched that game back many times. It didn't hurt as much as the New York Giants lost to me, nor did it hurt as much as the Seahawks lost in the title game because they were getting blown out and the lights went off. And I just felt like, okay. man, we win that game. It's always going to be questioned. Now, we would have celebrated, but we would have already had, always had to defend it. It was just, it didn't feel appropriate that the Niners won that game. We didn't deserve to win that football game. No, we didn't play well. That I agree we with. We didn't play but well at all. I wanted Harbaugh to win. I, right. I hold very. Hard. I mean, it's a it's a tough loss, Each but one for, of those losses, for me, I can't get that Ravens Super Bowl loss is not even in my top five. Personally, it's not even in my top. Oh, Michael five. James fumble. It's not even in my Randy top. Randy Moss five. not even trying. On not even in my top five. Not even my top five. I don't know. That one hurts. It hurts. I, I don't know where I ran. I mean, it, it hurts, but one. it's not even in my top five. It hurt. I mean, just the play calling at the end, and then seeing Harbaugh take the the, the safety the way he did. Right. Uh, Anquan Bolden destroying us. Destroying us. Yeah, the Seahawks loss. Jacoby hurt. Jones on the, the first freaking play of the second half. To me, the Seahawks loss is a lot more painful because it signaled basically the end of the hardball run. That, that the I, Kyle I Williams game with. because it ruined the magical season. Yeah. And we should have won that Super Bowl. We would have destroyed the Patriots. See, I just lumped them all in together. Right. They yeah, all no, just hurt yeah, equally. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you. I rank I think a lot of people are like that. 2019 stings. 2021 SoFi Stadium stings so the, damn hard. But this 2019 92. sting, like now that we've had a few years to separate us and we see how great Mahomes is and what he is, doesn't it take a little bit nope, of this thing away? it does not. I'm glad you let me do this. I'm glad you let me do this. Because, I mean, he is the greatest quarterback. I, I'm glad you let me seen. do this. The Niners win that Super Bowl. Kansas City goes back next year. They play Tampa Bay. Uh -huh. They get blown out. 
Then they, the next year they lose in the title game to Cincinnati. Then last year they go into a Super Bowl against Philadelphia. Let's say they lose that game. And I don't know. Maybe things are different. Maybe they make more moves. Maybe they don't trade Tyreek Hill. These are all hypotheticals. It's a tough butterfly effect. But, but how many but quarterbacks cook. rebound from a Super Bowl loss? The only, it's not a lot. The, the only one that – of the greats – the only ones that, that stick to mind is John Elway. And it took him a long time. That was a decade later. Yeah, I know. A decade later and finally had Terrell Davis where he wasn't the no, lead was man the for that Super, Super Bowl. Pay- you know what I'm saying? Peyton Manning lost to Drew Brees. And but he had one already, though. Yeah, but he had to go back with Denver and he, it wasn't he, the same. He had one already, though, yeah. when he lost to Drew Brees. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady avenging his loss. Well, but he had already won That's three true. Super Bowls, his first three Super Bowls. I'm just I'm, like I'm thinking Jim that Kelly, here. He never, well, he never won that never one. Won Dan Marino never even got back. I know. Didn't get back. I think he only got back to one AFC championship right. game after that. We should have beat Mahomes before he became this guy. They were still, you know, still greed, went behind the ear. Well, and Andy Reid still had the, can he win the big one? The same way right. we talk about Shanahan now, amp it up times five. Think about how much looser Andy Reid has been since he won that Super Bowl. Oh, he's now he's a minted it's champion. It's lifted everything totally off his agree. shoulders. Totally. Agree. Everything. Everything he had to wear in Philadelphia, everything he had to wear leading up to that, losing the AFC Championship game to Pavos the prior year. I'm telling you, man, the Niners know. I, I, uh, no, what no, if no, I no, played no. the other side of this and I said, if Jimmy wins, because I've done this with Kaepernick and Harbaugh on my mind, like had they won one or Alex or any of the, and everything plays out different. Harbaugh's probably, you know, the Niner right. coach for at least a decade. The, if Jimmy wins, I think it would be, it would have been more acceptable if Shanahan was like, you know what, we won with Jimmy. Let's move on and move off this buddy. There's no way in hell they're winning a Super Bowl with him and doing a Trent Dilfer. I, There's might, just no way. They might. They might have. There's no way. They might have. They stuck with Jimmy another like they four might years. Have. They might have. You know, I just I, I just think they had a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter, and they blew it. They blew it, and it gave Mahomes and company a lifeline. And now you look at them, and they've been here before, and they feel really, really good. I just think it would have changed things. It would have changed things. By the way, now's the time, if you would like to have breakfast with the morning roast, be the first caller right now in the contest line to answer a question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, gonna ask you a question, and you have to get it right. You have to be caller number five to get this right at four one five five two three four six five two. The question is, what is the name of our end of the year award show on the morning roast? Ooh, what is the name? of our end of the year award show on the morning roast. You got to know our show. You got to know our show. What is the name of our end of the year award show on the roast? The first caller to get it right. Oh, first caller to get it right. Not caller number five. First caller to get it right. You better get it right. You better get it right. In the meantime, let's go to Travis in Oakland. Travis, Travis? what's happening? You're on the roast. Bonte, Shasky, gentlemen, how we doing this morning? What's up, Travis? Hey, I wanted to, uh, you were you were talking about, like, the youngster Niner fans. So I was born in 94, and I was born in San Diego. My dad was a Bay Area guy, grew up his whole life. So right out of the womb, I was pressed into the red and gold, man. And I had to live through, I mean, I, I can't complain now, but, like, the Charger heydays, you know, with Schottenheimer when they were winning 13, 12 games a year, LT. I'm going to school in my Jeff Garcia jersey, my old <laughs> Steve Young jersey. We got Mike Nolan, Dennis Erickson. My first taste that I can, like, actually, I mean, I remember a little bit. My dad, you know, rest his soul, passed away in 2014, but he would take me to Hoops, his sports bar in San Marcos where we grew up to watch, like, the Mariucci, like, early 2000 playoff games. My first taste of, like, damn, this is the Niners was the Harbaugh and getting my heart ripped into a zillion pieces in that 2011 New York Giants playoff game. Mm. Then, you know, we get back to the Super Bowl. That was the year he passed, get my heart ripped up there. Then we get the, <laughs> the Kaepernick, uh, Crabtree, Richard Sherman, sorry, receiver rant. Then we get Tom Sula. Man, I am exhausted. Shanahan, I give him a hard time. I've called into not your guys' show, but other shows and give him a hard time. Dude, this one, that game on Sunday was Probably the greatest Niner game I've ever watched in my entire life. Wow. I, I turned 30 in April. Like, it's up there, man. Like, yep. honest to God, like, I'm trying to think of other. The Saints game? The other sweet spot, too, 
Which one? The Saints oh, game. The, ra- the the divisional? No, well, yeah, it was the divisional round where the Vernon Davis multiple plays. <sighs> the Alex Rome. I, like, I love VD and, and, and like, the, yeah, the catch for a three and all that. I, I don't know, man. This one was different because okay. I don't know about you guys. Like, I... We were up what fourteen in that team team. Like I, I never really felt like we were going to yeah. lose that. They were up seventeen nothing. We should have won going yeah. away. Yeah, and they forced five turnovers, Travis. So yeah, I'm with you there. Go ahead, c- continue to cook, man. Go ahead, finish your call strong. Yeah, I mean, but like the, the last thing I was gonna, is like, so that's why I should ask you. I think like that, like at halftime, man. Like I, I was watching with my wife. I got married last year. Her family all from Western Michigan, man. So mm-hmm. I'm getting texts from cousins, you know, brother in laws, all this nonsense. And I'm like, wow, we're really about to lay an egg at home. Like, the thoughts were just going. I, I was, I was losing my mind. I was losing my mind. I honestly thought we had no chance. So to see just the way that that team was resilient and that defense held up. I mean, man, that one was special too. At Levi's, like that's a statement game too. Like I've been to Candlestick. I've been to Levi's. You get all the talk. It's not the same. Who was the guy last week that said we play in a dome? Like you, you could hear it on TV, man. That yeah. place was rocking. It was popping. So I don't know, man. Like. I'm fired up. I'm very, very excited. We need to get this. I just want one so bad. Yep. I want one so, so. I never thought growing up the Warriors would win a title before the Niners did like, in my lifetime. You know what Nobody I mean? Did. So, Nobody like, did. give me one, please, Jeff. Hey, yep. I really appreciate you guys taking my yep. call. Anytime. Love you guys. I hope you guys have a great Anytime. day, man. Anytime. You know? under, thir- under 40. That guy was, Travis was born in 94. 94. Think about that, Shasky. He just wants one. And, and when he talks about this game, I, I want to say in my adulthood, 18 and over, since I've turned 18 and over, that Lions win is the greatest win I've seen in the 49ers franchise in my adulthood. I'm 41 now. From 18 to 41, there's no win greater than the win I just witnessed on Sunday. Well, why do you say that? NFC title game down 17. You made the greatest comeback. <laughs> and you were getting dominated. You did it in like dominated. You were getting dominated. Like, the Lions were averaging seven yards a pop. They had everything. Amara St. Brown, third and 18, no problem. Third and 12, Jameer Gibbs outside the left edge, no problem. Golf, slinging it. That was the greatest win of my adulthood. It was better than the Seahawks regular season game, 1917, where Frank Gore had the nice little cutback run against Earl Thomas, and they sealed the deal there. Better than the Lambo special teams play? So much better than that. I mean, that game was as tense as it gets. It was. So much better than that. But really? we didn't, you know, the t- like you always say, that team barely got to the playoffs. They are down 17-0 I, in, in Week 18. Which, which is know? why I hold that win in such high regard, because right. that was the MVP of the league, and they went into their house right. without scoring an offensive touchdown and won a game. It's, it was just, but, in terms of, like, improbable wins, that one's high on my that list. That was improbable, no doubt about but it. But I don't know if it was a greater win than the win that we saw this You know, weekend. but we kind of own Aaron Rodgers. Didn't you feel yeah. like we got to own Aaron Rodgers? We had Green Bay's number a bit. I mean, Jimmy had the shoulder injury. I mean, there, I don't know. That that game was bad. I mean, that game was bad. I mean, it was a, it was a dog fight. That I don't know. Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. To me, and like this is why I want this one so bad because I want Fred and I want Kittle and I want all these guys. I want McCaffrey, True Williams to have that nice shiny bling and get that Thursday night game to start the NFL season in twenty twenty four at Levi Stadium. I want this so damn bad for them. I want this one because it feels like it'll be my first Super Bowl. I was a kid when they last time they won a Super Bowl. I didn't have any pu- I didn't go through puberty yet. I didn't have any facial hair. I was in middle school. I didn't understand the way the game was played. Like I understood football and all that, the basic mm-hmm. concepts, but not the way I do now. The, the like the only other games that I can think of, even talking about as an adult, like for me, you got to put that Green Bay game where the two ones back-to-back, where Kaepernick drops 45 at Candlestick, the final Candlestick game. Because, right. again, you say, oh, we always dominate Aaron Rodgers. Not at that point. We had not beaten Green Bay in forever, it felt like, in the playoffs. And, or maybe at any point in the playoffs outside of the 98 win. And so when he hung 45 on him in the final game, that was as spectacular a win as I can remember. Yeah. And then the very next year, going into Green Bay right. in the frozen tundra and winning the way they did with the Phil Dawson field goal was as fun and as great as a win right. as I can remember. It was wild card round, though. I know. I you know. The stakes, the stakes weren't as high. The stakes were high here. I know. I mean, you're talking about a Super Bowl And the trip. Saints game was, was a divisional round game. Yep. But that one I hold... In really high regard, because that was the first playoff game in like 10 years. And, yeah, it was a long time. Yeah, I mean, like, and, but, but when you go back and look at it, 
They forced four turnovers and still had to come back and win But that it was game. also that guy doing that thing, as in Alex Smith yeah. having the best six minutes of his Niner career, yeah. which really, if you think about it, the way a lot of people remember Alex Smith is through the final six minutes. Yep. Yep. And that's jaded right. his entire Niner tenure. 888-957. He threw 17 seven. touchdowns that year, folks. No, he, 17 touchdowns, five interceptions, 3,100 yards passing. <laughs> I mean, David Eckers worked the field goal record. <laughs> he was, so you want to talk about game managers? That's a game manager. Brock Purdy's not a game manager. He's a game changer. Um, His best years were in Kansas City. Devo! What's happening, my boy Mike Devo? Uh, Devo. I don't want to give out his government mm-hmm. name, but uh, it's like I'm with you. I was there on Sunday. The only thing close was the Saints game, as yeah. you mentioned. I told all my friends in terms of emotions, it's the best football game I've ever been to. Wow. And now that I step wow. back from it, now that I step back away, I'm saying to myself, and I was thinking about this on the way to the round, I was like, yeah, that's the best win. I've witnessed as an adult for the 49ers. It's the best win I've witnessed. You know, I I don't want to be, I'm not trying to be a cynic. Atlanta was great. I'm not saying you're Georgia Dome was great. All that stuff was great. I don't know where to juxtapose it because they yeah. if they lose in the Super Bowl, like I, I'm, I'm so, I mean, a snake bit every time. Every well, time they have a big that. win, they they follow it up with a, with a well, horrific loss at the end of the year. By the way, the first winner for the eggs and toast with the Oh, rest. yeah, yeah. Who is it? Chris Molina is going to be in the building. Shout out to Chris Molina. He got the question nice. right. He's a roaster. And he gets a plus one. He gets a plus oh, one. Is it Chris Chris a man or a woman? No, Chris Molina. Yeah. Because I know a couple uh, women that are named yeah. Chris as well, well, so I don't know. Man. Okay. <laughs> Chris Molina is going to have a plus he, one. And I don't want to be. Yeah, you know. <laughs> plus one. Uh, let's go to the lines. A lot I of people want to chime in on this. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they're not. Uh, 